How's it going, everybody? This is Mike, Mr. Tiny Timmons, coming to you with another episode of Tiny Home Tuesday, where every Tuesday I showcase a particular park model tiny home coming in at 399 square feet that we have available here at Recreational Resort Cottages. And this Tuesday, I'm bringing to you the Grand Day. If you have been waiting for Mr. Tiny to showcase a one bedroom, one bath, tiny home with a loft, full pine interior, however, you don't want it in regular rustic style, you want it more contemporary, then I've got it right here for you today in the Grande. This beauty is coming in at 11 feet wide, 45 feet in length, including the 10 foot front porch. It's 399 square feet, and it's on sale today for 75K. 75K to the first person that calls me and wants the grind day sent your way. I've got it right here for you today, and it is great because as you can see here in the grind day, we've chose to go with southern yellow pine interior walls and ceiling throughout the entire home. However, we chose to go in a whitewash styling and gray trim around your doors, windows, and baseboards to give you that contemporary flair, lighten up the space, give you a pop, but not feel so rustic and traditional cabin style. And you can see right here, as we always do with the layouts, we make 399 square feet feel well over 1,000 square feet by things like natural light. You can see down low, I've got the triple window going on right here on your main living room wall, and then I've got the triple clear story up top so that is a great option to have in your living room space you can see as well you can fit a couch right here you can fit a love seat as we've got going right here a full-size love seat in here in a tiny home in 399 square feet you can do this size furniture with ease you've also got windows on each side of your front door the blinds and glass front door and you can see the sidewalls, the elevated sidewalls going throughout this home. So it's going to feel very open and airy in here and not feel like your classic claustrophobic tiny home. We don't do those here at RRC at Recreational Resort Cottages. We want you to feel comfortable going tiny. And as you know we do, we add a little flair to things like right here in the living room. You can see right here we've got the LED electric fireplace down low. So that's going to put off heat as well. You can see we've got the accent wall behind that in stained pine, which is complemented by the gray painted trim around that. So that is a great option for you. Already got placement for your TV jack and outlet there. So you can go ahead and put your TV right up like so. And then we've got the double clear story up top. So that right there is great for you. What's also great is a built-in bar in your tiny home. You can see right here, we've taken this kitchen countertop, extending it around, and we've got space for tools, two stools right here down low, which is great seating for you, very accommodating to guests and yourself. And those of you who wanna know small things we do in places, move this out the way. Look, got your hot water heater right there, hidden in a great placement for you there you can access it when you need but it's out of the way that way we're not taking up perfectly good space it's in a spot and we can still get additional cabinets on the other side that is great options for you and we think before we do and you can see right here you come around and this flow into the kitchen we chose to match the trim and go with the same color on the cabinets going throughout the home you can see another wow factor is this black stainless steel one basin farm sink so this is a beauty we chose to go with the spring handle faucet right here with the sprayer we've got your window right up above that you can see we've got cabinets down below drawers we got your cabinets up top you can see this whitewashed pine right here which looks great in person i know it looks good on the video but it looks even better in person you can see that we chose to go with black appliances in this model we've got it right here for you electric you can choose to go gas if you prefer then you come on back and you'll see we've done 
even more when it comes to storage right here. This is a item you do not get very often in a tiny home. And this is a pantry. Look at this pantry, all this shelving we've got for you. This is like a normal house to me. Don't it you? I say it does. You see right there. And then right across, you've got your restroom. You'll see here as well. We've got your toilet, your sink, everything matched and accommodating. And then we even chose to go with built in cubbies right here. So this is great for your towels, things like that, that you can place over to the side. And then right here, we chose to go with the fiberglass shower, no curtain. So that way you can put up that beautiful curtain that you've been waiting to put up in your tiny home. You can put that up right here. You can see with the, the loft up above us, I'm about 6'1", so you can see we've got somewhere right around six foot five inches in space right here in the bathroom of the Grande. So if you are a little Grande, Hey, I ain't talking to Ariana, but you can fit in here. And then you can see you've got the built-in seats on each side, and then you've got spots for your soaps and shampoos on each side as well. Even in the restroom, we chose to go with the Southern Yellow Pine Whitewash. This is awesome. And then right here, going down your hallway, you've got your stackable washing machine and dryer right here for you, very convenient. And then what did we do? More storage, I know you guessed it. So we've added this right here for you as well. Look at that guys, look at that big, tall cabinetry for you there. So you can store everything you need and then you come right back into the bedroom. And you can see the best option about the Grande or I feel personally one of the best options about the Grande is I have a lot of clients that say, Mr. Tiny, I want to go tiny. I want to go with a tiny home. However, the problem is I want a loft, but my husband, my wife, my whoever, do, they do not feel comfortable in the bedroom because the loft is making for a lower ceiling in the bedroom. What we've done here at Recreational Resort Cottages, hey, we drop kicked that excuse and we chose to go with the loft in the center of the home. That way when you walk into the bedroom, like so, you can see right here, we've got your elevated ceiling. So at the peak, this is going up to easily around 10 feet tall. So there you go. We've got that covered for you. So you do not have to worry about bumping your head in your bedroom just because you wanted a loft. So you get the best of both worlds. Speaking best of both worlds, best of both worlds. You get the barn doors in here as well as a built-in dresser. We chose to paint those as well to match because we like to coordinate. You know we do if you subscribe like you should be. And you've also got the dresser drawers right here pulling out. You've got your wired already for your TV, everything like that. Even inside the closets, we're doing Southern Yellow Pine with the white wash. Don't make me. Don't make me do that to show you that it's real wood shelf and rods in here. Even behind the nooks and crannies, we're still keeping it real for you here at Recreational Resort Cottages. We've also got your back window right here bringing in more light. We've got your mini split AC and heat system right there for you as well. Then come on back through because I know what you want to do. You want to check out the loft. And as you can see here, we come back through the kitchen space. And you can see how lovely the grande looks. And then we can come right around here. And what's also great is the stairs are out of the way. You've got, as soon as you walk in, you've got full clearance from front to back of this home. And the stairs are tucked right here to the side to get up to your loft. And you can see we've also stained those as well. So that way it doesn't show scuffs or any scratches as bad. So you can see right there, because you know it's going to happen. You know you're going to scuff it up but it's going to give it a chance to blend in. You see what I'm saying? We're taking care of you. And we also got the handrail right here for you. So follow me on up and we'll go up to the loft of the Grande. Now we are up in the loft of the Grande. As you can see right here, the loft space is a great space if you're looking for additional storage or you're looking for additional sleeping in 399 square feet. Of course, you know, you want to be in the bedroom, you want to be comfortable if it's your home, but also if you got guests, all they're doing is coming over to go to sleep up here. So throw some mattresses up here, have everybody sit down, go to bed, wake up in the morning, go back down and enjoy yourself. It also works great for children. It also works great for storage, like I said earlier. So this is out of sight, out of mind. You will not see it. 
What's also lovely is you still got natural light bringing in right here from the clear story windows on each side of the home. We've got another mini split AC and heat system here behind me to heat and cool this upper area and get a closer look of that white wash southern yellow pine. Oh my goodness, you know that looks good. Now go ahead and pan around so you can see from the loft down to the main home. So you can see down there, everything looks gorgeous in the grande. The grande is the home that you are looking for. If you're looking for 399 square feet with the loft, with that wow factor, wow is right. You've got it all right here in the grande. This is a great home for you. So I wanna thank you for tuning in to another Tiny Home Tuesday with me, Mike, Mr. Tiny Timmons. Remember, this home is 11 feet wide, 45 feet in length, 399 square feet on sale to the first person that calls me wanting the grande for 75K. So, hey, I'm waiting on the calls right now as we speak. So go ahead and hit me up. Also, like the videos, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you are showing support to the channel so these videos can continue to get out there. Leave a comment. Let me know what your favorite part of the Grande video tour was, what you enjoyed. If the Grande isn't for you, tell me what you're looking for in the comments. Let me know so we can get it coming to you in the future. Also, subscribe. If you subscribe, like you should be, then you're part of the family. You're the first to get notified every time we drop a video. So that way you're the first to see. So please subscribe if you haven't already so you can be part of the family. Also, run over to Instagram, follow my account. If you want to connect with me directly, go to Instagram at the Mr. Tiny, at T H E M R T I N Y, and you can connect with I anytime. I'm selling these homes right off of my Instagram where you can get the Grande and various other models that I've showcased on this channel. So contact me day or night and I'll make it right for you. So you guys contact me directly and I'd love to hear from you. And again, I want to thank you for tuning in to another Tiny Home Tuesday. Wait, I almost forgot, almost slipped my mind. Oh my goodness. I want to give a shout out. Again, a shout out for the Tiny Home Tuesday subscribers and followers that are, have been you know, showing me some love, went over to my Instagram, did what they were supposed to do, and that's like my latest picture. Leave a comment saying you two brought me here and you're getting a shout out directly. And this one, this one is going to Brittany in Arizona. Brittany Jackson in Arizona. I greatly appreciate you. I appreciate you subscribing. I appreciate you giving me the follow on Instagram. And if you want to get a shout out on a future Tiny Home Tuesday, Feel free to do so yourself. Like my most recent post, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and leave a comment on my Instagram saying, you two brought me here. And I'll pick one person every Tiny Home Tuesday to give a shout out. So Brittany Jackson, I appreciate you. Her favorite model is the tumbleweed. She loves the tumbleweed, and she's looking to get one as soon as she's finished college. So I want to thank you for continuing your education, Brittany. And I appreciate you for following the channel. Thank you so much. And I will see you guys next Tiny Home Tuesday.